Hello and welcome to another Unreal Engine 5 video. Uh, this video will continue our uh, third person shooter tutorial and uh, we'll make the uh, uh, jumping animations and uh, we'll make the foot IK using the control rig. Now let's start by making the input for the jumping animation. Well, we go to the input, we duplicate uh, one of these input actions, let's call it jump, and let's open it and change this to digital ball, close it, and go back to our context, make a new mapping, look for the jump, And uh, I will use the space space bar, and here I will add uh, a trigger, two triggers. One is for the pressed, one for the sorry for the released. Here, uh, let's uh, add the uh, input action jump. Here on the started, let's find jump. And here on complete, stop jump. Okay, now let's go to our uh, animation blueprint. Go back to the event graph. Here, let's uh, look for uh, a boolean called uh, jumping. Get was jumping. And let's promote it to a variable. Now let's go back to our anim graph and to the state machine. Here let's add another state. Let's call it jump. Uh, here let's add was jumping. Like I said, this uh, the state machine changes between different states based on uh, certain conditions. Now the condition is the character jumping, so it will change to the jump jumping animation. And let's uh, find our jump animation. Here, let's jump from stand. I will make uh, one for jump from stand and one for jump from jogging. Uh, so let's here go here and add another boolean and here and boolean and get the speed and check if the speed is more than more than zero. Or, or to make it simple, let me delete this. I do not want to complicate it and add a lot of states. So here in the jumping, let's here add a boolean based on the speed. Speed is more than zero. And let's get a blend poses by a ball here if the, it is a, more than zero we should have jumping from jogging here this one jump from jog connect to the true pose and jump from stand 
connect it to the false pose now let's go back here and here to permit the character to transition from the jumping animation to go back to the idle animation here uh, we need to make sure or get the animation and see if it is finishing or it is uh, at the end of the animation so that we uh, uh, we transition to the idle so we need to get relevant relevant time remaining fraction this represent the uh, fraction of the time remaining it's represented in uh, as, as percentage so we want to see if uh, the time remaining the animation time remaining is less than 0.1 which means it is less than 10% of the length of the animation uh, so when the animation reaches this uh, 10% uh, of the animation when there is only 10% remaining of the animation it will change to uh, I don't run. now let's uh, test press the jump now he's jumping from standing and if we move there is different jumping animation now standing and here jumping from jogging uh, to me uh, let's find if there we have we have a falling animation or an air animation well we do not have also we need other animations uh, uh, we can find it in the third person character or third person project let me add it let's add feature or content back in the third person add to project cancel and let's find the animations well hmm. we can take these animations this is the start of the jump and here the landing and falling in air let me take this because this is better than uh, than having single animation for the jump because uh, if you are jumping from a high place you will have the animation of the jump and looping uh, or the or the character will uh, it will make a weird pose let me show you what I mean uh, let's add a ramp add here a cube let's scale it We make it longer now let me show you what I mean now let me go up here and jump from the highest point and you will see the character will transition to the walking animation before it lands on the ground so I think uh, 
we will think the uh, we will think this animation will be better so let's go back to our rigs where is the uh, rigs uh, here well uh, we do not need to make a new rig because uh, the uh, character has let me just see this one okay uh, here we have a ready rig here There is a already we have a rig for the mannequin. Okay, now let's go back to our uh, targeting rig. Or oh, let's use the rig here for the source. We will keep it the same uh, mannequin and we will use our rig a soldier rig no let's see where the jump well need to No, let's see. Let's uh, correct these uh, chains. Let's and let's make them correspond to the correct one. Now pelvis here. Well, okay. I will make a new rig better because their rig is different the naming convention is different than our so let's go back to our rig and duplicate one of them let's call it Manny open it and find the Manny Manny simple Okay, now let's uh, modify the uh, the chains. Now, because the, uh, the it has uh, different chains, the Android Engine Five uh, mannequin has different chains. Like you see here, we have uh, spine, five spine uh, bones. New chain. Fine. Okay, let's move it like this. And modify this, make it spine five. Uh, the other one, head, head. Okay, uh, for this twist, this one, let me take our part. I don't think we need it. Uh, Now the left arm, left index, left index. Start here from the middle carpal. Or let's test and see. I hear the target arm. Many. And let's test an animation. Well. It's working well so uh, let's go back to the uh, ref pause and 
uh, for me I will let me go back to the mannequin IK break I will duplicate the targeter because I do not want to mess up our uh, settings let's call it money also and let's edit the pose uh, we let's edit the arms Let's change the snapping setting to 5 degrees. Okay, uh, for the right arm I think this is close enough Let me just check the chains if they are correct. I think they are fine. So let's uh, Maybe let's try this one. Okay, now this is better. This fine. Left arm. On the left arm, now it's messed up, so. Uh, let me check the head. Okay, I think this is enough. Jump. Okay, I need this uh, pose, I mean animations. Uh, let's add our prefix and export. Now uh, let's go back, let's find our animations. Now that we have the animation, now let me 
let us change the jumping animation or transition uh, let's go back go here now I will delete this I do not need it or instead of that let's delete this and make this start jump and leave this condition as the same and here start jump we do not need this uh, let's uh, look for jump this one and here we need uh, another state is uh, falling let's call it and this uh, transition uh, our condition here will be that if this animation is uh, nearly ending so it will transition to this falling animation now uh, falling this one falling loop put it here here let's and uh, let's get relevant time remaining fraction I want it to be less than 0.1 uh, and our transition here at another state call it land also the same uh, here land uh, we should uh, find out if the character is on the ground how, how do we find this there is a pool already built in in the character get falling or I mean sorry uh, first need the character movement get character movement and here falling look for uh, get where is it is falling promote it to a variable call it falling and set it here when we set a variable it means that we are saving the variable and this value of the variable and uh, to use it uh, anywhere else we need it so here if he is not falling which means the character is landing or is on the ground we here we need the not boolean which will give us the opposite of this boolean so if it is true it will make it false or if it is false if it is false meaning it's on the ground moving to make it to true basically the not boolean is give, giving us gives us the opposite of the boolean that we are using so here look for land land Uh, this is green let me find uh, if it is additive let me disable it and let me make it no, not additive because it will give us problems when transition to it now uh, also we need to go back to the run, a la, the run idle uh, stage also by finding out by getting the relevant time remaining fraction and to be less than 0.1 now let's 
let's test we're jumping now well this jumping this behavior that you see is because of the uh, was jumping boolean sometimes it's uh, it gives us this problem because it's delayed when it's getting back to normal and let's jump here we are on the air now it transitioned so I will make another boolean let's go back to our uh, character here uh, Let me add a branch here. This will be better. And let me add here a, a new variable, call it jumping. here we set it to true and set it here when we complete or we will release the button to false now let's go back to our uh, animation blueprint out of the event graph and let's get jumping and connect it here to was jumping now let's test okay let me test it again and jump from higher ground Well, there is delay in the transition when it is landing here uh, so let let me make it let me make it higher number because the animation is uh, very short so we was this problem well let's increase it sorry let's make it maybe half well let's try to make it less well the same let's find out why it is uh, getting this problem uh, let me see the length of the animation is 0.8 seconds okay okay let's see why it is delayed let me change it to throw and see ok 
Oke. Okay. Let's get relevant. Uh, now I will use only time remaining, not the fraction. Well, uh, the problem with this animation is you see uh, here from the frame uh, is sixty percent of the animation above is the character only standing. So for me, I'll delete these frames. I will start deleting the frames here from frame fifteen. Here also frame 15. I will make the last one the 15. Okay, now. Okay. Let's test our animation now. Well, it's better, but still there's some. Uh, weird movement we want to cut more animations cut more frames let's change this to animated time and see if it fixes the problem well still now we need okay uh, here frame 13 to 15 Now let's jump. Well, it's better now. Here, uh, this condition. Uh, let's increase the time. Make it half. Or maybe uh, one quarter of a second let's see well it's better now but let me uh, delete this and get the fraction I like the fraction get relevant time remaining fraction ah sorry fraction get relevant time remaining fraction Well, let me increase the value here make it 0.5 like 50% uh, of the animation is passing so now because the animation is now is short we do not and we got rid of the uh, extra frames now the animation are better is better so uh, another thing I will uh, want to add here is uh, that when the character is falling from a high place I want it also to play the falling animation so let's add another state sorry this one is the jumping state here I will uh, add another state here let's call it uh, in air Uh, our condition will be if it is if the character is falling it is not touching the ground let me get this out of the way now here uh, falling loop now uh, also I want to connect it here to the land when if it is not falling which me it means it is touching the ground not boolean sorry boolean here 
here let me just make them organized we have now our state uh, our new state for uh, falling from the air now if uh, the uh, a character is falling we'll go to the this one this state in air then when it is touching the ground it'll change to the land now let's test let me see here now I will fall touch the ground now it's better if we are jumping ok now let me quickly just add a sprint button uh, let's duplicate the jump because we need it to be a boolean sprint uh, now for the sprint let's add the mapping here Well, uh, we have two jump. Ah, sorry. Uh, let me delete this because I am getting the same input settings from there, so we do not need it. Let's delete it. Now let's go back to the uh, input, my input for the sprint. I will uh, choose the left shift and also I want the two triggers depressed and released now let's go back to our uh, character and put action sprint uh, here when we uh, on started we set our uh, walk speed to 600 set max walk speed here make it 600 oh, sorry 600 and I will promote to a variable because we do not need magic numbers and magic numbers are the numbers that are not stored in a variable because sometimes you need to go back to change these numbers and you will dig through the blueprint and take a lot of time so let's uh, promote it to a variable and call it a sprint speed it is 600 now let's duplicate this make it jog speed and here when we release the button the walk speed will go back to the jog speed from sprinting to jogging now let's find out let's test I'm moving now I am running when I release the button well well sorry uh, eh, I didn't change the value make it 300 now let's run now I'm sprinting Now I am walking. Now sprinting, walking, sprinting, jumping, jump. I think uh, this is enough for this video. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video. And thank you for watching. Uh, for the next video, we'll make the IK, uh, foot IK. And uh, maybe if we 
if the video is not uh, long I will uh, maybe add some weapons but uh, this thing will come in the future so thank you for watching goodbye